Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today is a collaboration. I'm doing a collaboration with a friend here on YouTube and her name is Valerie Dyson. This is her channel right here. I don't know if you guys can see her. This is her. This is her channel. She's really, really sweet, guys. I love watching her videos. Um, she had emailed me and asked me if um we, i would like to do a collab with her and i was like yes i would love to do a collab with you so our collab today is um our date night makeup routine so um basically this is mine right here and of course in a few more minutes you guys can go and watch how i do this look but um yes yeah, so um it's me her and a few others of her on her side i'm not sure who they are yet but i will list them all in the description below and um again go subscribe to um to valerie guys she's really sweet she's amazing she does great videos as well and her content's so beautiful and clear like my videos are not clear yes i adore her she's too cute okay so you guys go subscribe to her i'm gonna leave her channel in the description below so make sure you guys go check her out let her know that i sent you guys and um let's get started with this video and see how i created this look right here okay guys as you can tell i already put on my eyebrows and i already cleaned it up with concealer i wanted to get that out the way because it takes a long time for me to do that and i'm gonna go ahead and um set it with some naked cosmetics powder so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't really know um, what kind of powder you guys all use. You like setting powder? Please let me know if you have a good one. Because this one is just so messy and it's everywhere. I just think that um, there's another one out there like not like this because it gets everywhere everywhere okay so I did that and guys my eyebrows are a bit darker today but that is because like this is date night and I love to go a little bit darker with everything my colors my clothes my lipstick everything goes um a little bit darker when it's date night so yes these are a little bit too dark but once everything comes together it'll look a little bit better i promise you okay so um now that i set my eyes i'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyeshadows i usually do all my eyeshadow and stuff before i do my foundation because all the fallout and whatnot okay guys so i'm gonna go in with my jaclyn hill palette and i'm taking this brush right here and I'm going to go in with the light shade first. So I'm going to go in with this matte color right here. I'm going to take that one and I'm going to put it all over my eyelid. And all above. To just give it that um, first color. Guys, and I am in a different area. I'm at, I am in my bedroom because the lighting is better and I needed to come in my room because today my kids did not have school so they are here and you know how loud that gets okay next I'm taking um, this little bit darker matte color into my cut crease so it's gonna be this color right here and I'm gonna put that all in my cut crease and just blend powders all over my mirror okay I'm gonna take some more and put it on my other eye just blend it blend it blend it this will be my transition color of course I 
hope you guys can see because that lighting is really, really yucky. Okay, next I'm going to take a darker shade. It's gonna be, oops, it's gonna be this one right here. And then I'm gonna put all that in my cut crease as well. And just blend. I like to go a little bit darker um, because I'm gonna end up cutting it with my concealer by my eyelid, so that's why I'm going dark. And the Jaclyn Hill palette is called um, Central Park. Yeah, it's called Central Park. So I'm gonna take this color right here, Central Park, and add it onto my cut crease along with all the other colors. Okay, so next, a bit shocker, but I do love to wear dark, dark colors like I told y'all, so I'm going to be adding that black. There is a black color in the um, Jaclyn Hill palette, and this one is called Aspie. Abby's or something like that. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but this is the black shade right here that I'm taking, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in my quick crease as well. Remember guys, I'm not really putting anything onto the lid because I am cutting it with concealer anyways. So I'm not going to be putting nothing in there. Yes, guys. So if y'all want to see or um, y'all want to do a collab with me, let me know. Don't be afraid to email me. Um, I did not put more black on my brush since it is really, really pigmented, I'm just dusting it off and going back in and blending and blending. Next, I'm going to get my concealer and I'm going to go in with um, this one instead because usually I use um, this one. It's a bit darker, but um, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use my light shade one. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut. Cut it. And I love using this because the little brush on it helps out a lot. What was that on my hair? Guys, I hate when I get concealer on my eyelashes. And you gotta take your time with this part so you can get it really, really nice and cut. Like, get it down. What I normally do is get like a light shade color and I put it all on top of that so what I'm gonna take is this light shade right here in my Jaclyn Hill palette the same one that I had used to put in my um, cut crease as the transition color so I'm just gonna take that and then um, put it on there this is optional you don't have to do this you can even put a different shade color you like okay now that I am got that done on this eye I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then apply my lashes and I will be right back okay guys so the lashes did not work they were just not coming on I don't know what the deal was I don't know if it was just me today not sure so I'm not doing lashes today but I'm gonna go in with my L eyeliner and I'm gonna go ahead and make the wing I'm 
don't know what it was with my lashes. They just wouldn't go on, guys. I don't know if maybe it was the glue. I never used the clear glue. But this package came with the clear glue. And I'm always using... Okay, so I already did my um, my wing liner. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my mascara. Okay, so with the, I'm going in with my full lash bloom mascara. So I'm going to use this one. Too bad my lashes didn't cooperate with me today. And then, like, I haven't been wearing them, so maybe, I don't know. I mean, it was hard to apply with my nails. We're going to go on my foundation. Let's get this over with. Y'all have probably been waiting for the look. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte in Poreless. But first, 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 I am going to hydrate my face in prime it because if not, this won't be a good night and my stuff won't last on my face all my makeup won't last it's hard without all this good stuff to help you Cause that's what you need all this stuff to help you Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Next, the other primer. I'm this is my primer right here, guys. I know my face looks a bit wrecked right now, but it's crazy, guys. Alrighty, now in for the prime, uh, not primer, sorry, for the foundation, let's get started. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand right here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, and this stuff is like really full coverage. I love it. I have to just dab it my beauty blender. Now I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. Top. I love this. And you know what? At first I would think like this was not my color, but I'm loving it. And I think the shade is come on, where's your shade name? Soft sand. That is the shade I'm using. Sorry, I don't want you to see my mirror, but it's in here. Sorry. No. So I'm just going to blend all this in, guys. So. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very full coverage. This is my favorite this is the one I'm always using I did switch up because I wasn't using this one for a while. but in the beginning I was not using this one but I'm loving this one I kind of feel like because I have a dry face so I'm not even supposed to be using matte foundations it just does not work for me this one is matte but I'm loving it Yeah, but to make it look like a really, really better on my face, like, I don't know if some of you do this, but I do it. I'm going to spray my sponge with my Sephora setting spray. I'm going to spray my sponge a few times, guys. 
only to um I still have some foundation right here, so I'm just gonna dab a little bit of it. I'm just gonna go into my face again with some extra product. I don't like for my face to feel like tight and stuff. I do want makeup to set, so that's why I do put the setting spray with my foundation the second time around. I think it helps a lot better. So, next, I'm going to take some concealer and, of course, put that under my eye. So, again, I am taking the Fair Light 230 in my Ramel London. I'm already running out of this stuff. I so need it. Okay, if I can get some out, I'm just going to apply a fair amount since y'all saw that I don't have any. Okay, there we go. There you go, girl. Now I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. And that's why I like using this sponge. It is very, very easy to get in under your eye with this sponge yeah they're more expensive but it's worth it i love it i love it i love it so again go underneath the eye blend all that concealer in next i'm gonna go in with my anastasia beverly hills highlighter yes 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 Okay, I'm going to, oh my god guys, I love this highlighter. It's just it. Like, this highlighter is everything. Okay, right here. Okay, so I'm just going to take some of this. Okay, not some. I'm going to take a lot of it. When I go out, I use a lot, lot. So I'm just going to take it and just apply it. You know, take some more. Just apply that everywhere. Yeah. Oh my nose. Yes, get it, girl. On my eyebrow bone. Yes. I just go crazy with it. See? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, guys. Next, I am going to set my makeup with my spray. Are y'all ready? Okay. Oof, that smelled like alcohol. Okay, next, n this is the last step. I'm gonna go in with my Jeffree Star um, Shook lipstick. Matte lipstick. Yeah, I, this is the only thing I own that is Jeffree Star. I don't own anything else, Jeffree Star. I wish I did. But I have this one right here. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to apply that to my. I love the brush on here. It's so cute. I hope you guys can see it. I'm just going to go in a second time. It is dark. Yeah, it is dark, but it's okay because when I go out, I like for things to be a little bit more darker. Like, look at my eyebrows, look at my eyes. Like, everything's just darker. This is my date night look, guys. Um,. I do have a different preference. I do also go in with glitters. Like, um, if I do, like, it depends where I'm going. If I'm going to go have dinner, then I like to have that, you know, glitter on my eyes, glitter on my cheekbones, glitter on my lips. Like, so, like, this is just another way that I go out. So, 
Yeah. That's on my teeth. Yeah. I will insert a clip after this video and you see how I look when I'm all dressed up and ready. Bye guys.